Hi, hello, and welcome everybody to New Haven Recharge. I'm Chad Cooper. And I'm Margaret Mattire, and let's look at last week's highlights. Softball taking on Southern Connecticut on Wednesday, third inning of a scoreless game. Two out, and Erica Williams jumps on the first pitch, lacing it into center field for a double. Next batter is Jen Palacy, and she slaps the ball into left for a single, bringing home Williams for the 1-0 New Haven lead. The rest of the game belonged to Nicole King, who was magnificent in the circle. The junior went the distance. Here, King fans the side in the fifth. Defense helping out in the fourth. Christy Batuli pops it up to Julie Devlin at shortstop. Devlin makes the catch in shallow left field before before firing a bullet over to first base to double off the runner. Then in the sixth, runner on second with one out for the Owls and Leanna Fierick singles to left. Williams comes up firing and Courtney Reed makes a great defensive play, snagging the short hop and then tagging Nicole Bush on her way to the plate to preserve the one nothing lead. And finally, it's King putting the finishing touches on her day, getting the final out of the game on a grounder. A season high 11 strikeouts as New Haven claims the first game of the series. Next up for the Chargers was a doubleheader against AIC on Saturday. Fourth inning grounder down the right side. Hits the base, but Gabby DeLeo with the heads-up play to field it and do the glove hand flip over to first for the out. Fourth inning, New Haven got all the offense it needed for the game. Tori Sheeby leads off the inning with a single to center. Three batters later, two on and two out, 3-2 pitch, and Victoria Cabral lines it into center field for the base hit, bringing home Sheeby and sending Christine Liptak to third, giving New Haven a 1-0 lead. Next up is Gilly Childs, and she drives the ball off the wall in left. Liptak scores easily, and Cabral able to come all the way around from first base. Childs winds up at second with a double advancing lead to 3 0. Second straight game that Nicole King finds her form here, getting the pop out to end the sixth inning. King tosses her second straight shutout, striking out seven along the way to Northeast 10 Pitcher of the Week honors. Second game of the doubleheader against the Yellow Jackets. New Haven gets the offense going early. Jen Palacy leads off the bottom of the first with a single. After Gabby DeLeo was hit by a pitch and Gilly Childs walked, Julie Devlin drives an 0-2 pitch into the left center field gap. Palacy scores easily. DeLeo follows close behind. Childs hustling around third. The relay throw is close, but Childs with a great slide around the catcher, getting her hand in and giving the Chargers a 3-0 lead. Nicole King wasn't the only New Haven pitcher who had a strong week. Victoria Cabral turned in a magnificent performance in Game 2. After allowing two hits in the second, Cabral retired the next 12 batters she faced and finished the game setting down 16 of the final 17 Yellow Jacket hitters. She recorded the final four rounds of the game on strikes as New Haven sweeps the doubleheader to go to 4-1 and one in the Northeast 10 Conference Southwest Division. Baseball finally got a game at home this week taking on Concordia. Baseball hosting Concordia on Thursday afternoon. Second inning, Brendan O'Reilly on second and takes third on the stolen base. Two pitches later, Eddie Tamaro breaks from first. The throw goes through to second, allowing O'Reilly to come in and score and make it 1-0 New Haven. Third inning, Chargers up 2-0 with the bases loaded. Eddie Tamaro walks to force in a run as TJ Riccio comes across the plate to make it 3-0. Nick Russo comes up next and smacks a ball down the left field line. Kyle Cullen comes in to score. Jack Zagaja rounds third and scores. Tamaro to third and Russo into second with a double. One of three hits on the day for Russo, making it 5-0. Bottom of the eighth and the Chargers in a bit of trouble, but Brian Caselli comes on to get out the two-on, two-out jam as New Haven holds on for the 5-4 win. The men's and women's track and field team made the short trip up I-91 to compete in the Yellow Jacket Invitational in Springfield. Brianna Conyers led the way for the women, winning the triple jump with a distance of 11.21 meters. She also placed fourth in the long jump at 5.19 meters and was fifth in the 100-meter hurdles with a time of 15.71 seconds. On the men's side, George Murray won two events, claiming the long jump with a leap of 6.70 meters and the triple jump with a personal best distance of 13.88 meters. Jordan Rippey earned a second place finish in the hammer throw, recording a personal best with a distance of 54.18 meters. New Haven is in action again next Saturday, April 11, when it competes in the Yukon Northeast Challenge. Lacrosse had a pair of road games this past week. The Chargers opened their week taking on pace on Tuesday. Courtney Acklin and Maya Szymanski each recorded five goals and Katherine Campbell netted four as New Haven earned a 17-6 victory against the Setters. 
On Saturday, the Chargers took on number seven Stonehill. After keeping it close early, the Skyhawks went on a burst before halftime and were able to hold on for a 12-8 win. Campbell delivered two goals for New Haven in the contest. The Chargers will play twice this week, hosting Southern Connecticut State on Tuesday before traveling to Assumption on Saturday. Women's tennis got its spring season underway, traveling to Queens on Saturday. Lindsey Conley led New Haven, winning three games at first doubles before claiming a pair of victories in second singles. At number three single, Samantha Negri won a trio of games. The Chargers return to action on April 11th against NYIT. That's going to do it for us this week. We'd like to thank everybody for watching. For everybody involved in Recharge, I'm Chad Cooper. And I'm Margo Matire. And check us out at NewHavenChargers.com.